What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Red Breed, checking in with a live reaction after tonight's Mets win over the Philadelphia Phillies 10 to 6. Max Scherzer wasn't really the top ace he's been so far this season. He had an off game, gave up four runs in six innings. You know, Matt Schwarber, he, you know, Schwarber touched him up, got a couple of home runs on him. You know, he made a couple of mistakes. Wasn't as sharp tonight after that first, second inning, but, you know, that's Max. He's going to battle. He's going to do whatever's needed to get the W and keep his team in the game, and that's what he did tonight. You know, he's entitled to have one of those games, and, you know, hey, he battled. He did his job. Mets offense woke up at the right time, got some clutch hits. You know, Don Smith, four for four. You know, he needed that. You know, he needed that big time, you know. Um, playing time's been tough to get for him this year, you know, because the Mets have such a nice deep team roster going on this year after all the free agent additions. So, you know, he needed that. He needed that. And plus, the fact that there has to be some roster cuts tomorrow, tough decisions are going to be made. And Don Smith made sure to put his, his name in a hat to stay on the roster, you know. I don't think there's any question he needs to be in the, in the in the lineup more so every day over Robinson Cano, who stinks. And I'm sorry. I don't care what Lindor says. I love Lindor, but I'm sorry. And I get the leadership aspect of it. But this guy, Cano, is, he's, he's not, he should not be holding playing time from Dom Smith. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You know, it's not like he's come out the gate hitting 300. <laughs> That's for sure. Anyway, that's a story for another time. I'm just happy we got the win. You know, it's good to be 16 and seven. You know, uh, the Yankees have the best record so far, May 1st, you know, by one game. You know, they're 16 and six. Mets are 16 and seven out the gate. You know, on first time they've ever won seven straight series to open the season. You know, as a Mets fan, can't get no better than that right now. You know, we're going to enjoy this wave. You know, we're not going to get crazy. It's a lot of season, a lot of baseball left. You know, us baseball fans know it's not a marathon. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, I should say. So we're not going to get crazy, but we're going to enjoy this because we deserve it, you know. So next up, we got the Braves on deck. It's going to be a tough series. This is going to be a measuring stick series. You know, last time we had a measuring stick series this year was against the Giants, San Francisco, and they won three out of four. So, you know, hopefully they'll be up for the challenge. You know, Bassett is on the bump tomorrow, so we'll see. But honestly, I also want to say that there's going to be some tough roster decisions coming tomorrow. You know, I don't know who's going to be sent down. So it's going to suck. <laughs> it's going to suck. I heard Buck say the same thing. It's going to pretty much be bad for someone. You know, it's going to be tough decisions, but... Hey, if it was up to me, it would be Robinson Cano. JD, to me, has a, has a spot on this team as a right-handed hitter off the bench, plays against lefties, DH, third baseman guy. You know, Dom has definitely has a role on the team. You know, he's he's he needs a guy. He's a guy that needs to play every day. You know, he does. At, well, at least more majority of the week, you know. You know, you can get Pete some DH at bats to when he needs a rest. You know, have Don play first base. He also could come in late in the game, too, to play first base and defensive defensive for a replacement. Please tell me, what does Robinson Cano really do for this team besides giving leadership to the Latin ball players? I really don't know. He isn't hitting that great. His range at, the, at second base is, is diminished. We know that, you know. We all know he's a steroid cheat. I mean, what is he doing for this team? I can make the case that Janikowski has a bigger role for this team, more important, as the fourth outfielder. I don't know what the Mets are going to do, but something's got to give, you know. You know, it's tough to, to walk up, to, to cut a guy that has sit $25 million in the bank the next two years, but you know what? If there's an owner that can deal with it, it's Steve Cohen. Decisions have to be made, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, always good to beat the Phillies. Y'all have a good night. Subscribe if you like the channel. Born for sports. Peace.